This Pro Liberty podcast is brought to you by the Health Ranger Store. Visit healthrangerstore.com forward slash MAGA. That's M-A-G-A, like Make America Great Again. Thank you for your support. There are stunning developments taking place right now in the impeachment sham against President Trump that indicate the civil war is now inevitable in America. There will be a civil war. And the way we know this is because Jerry Nadler has said that if they don't impeach Trump and remove him from power, then he will rig the 2020 election. Now, there are two very important things to notice about this. First off, notice the doublespeak that Jerry Nadler is saying that if the Democrats don't rig the election by removing Trump, then Trump will rig the election. In other words, to simplify, they're saying if we don't rig the elections, the the elections might be rigged. This is the logic of the Democrats. They are insane. They are lunatics. They are lawless. They are traitors. They're anti-Americans. They deserve to be completely removed from power because they are abusing their power as just described by saying that they will not allow elections to proceed. They must remove the president who was duly elected by the American people because if they don't, that president might win again. And he's setting up the presupposition that states that if Trump wins, it's only because he rigged it again. And this is what the Democrats are going to push when Trump wins re-election in 2020. They're going to say, oh my God, the Russians stole the election again. Or maybe it's the Ukrainians this time, or who knows. But the point is, Democrats cannot accept democracy any longer. And they will not accept Trump winning re-election. And they are already creating the, the prelude argument to say that if Trump wins, he did it by rigging the elections. And this will lead to civil war because the radical left will initiate it. When Trump wins re-election, the radical left will, they will lose it. They will go into full-blown violence mode. Now, I've talked before in previous podcasts what that might look like. We know that when leftists try to commit violence, they will set fire to their own cities. For example, that's a favorite tactic of leftists. They love to commit arson against their neighbors for some reason. They will loot, but they will do more than that now because their level of outrage and hatred and violence has reached a tipping point. They are mentally ill and they are being whipped up into more violence by the fake news media like MSNBC and CNN and New York Times and so on, who are operating, running a multi-year psychological terrorism campaign against the American people. Understand that those fake news media outlets, they are committing treason. They are the enemies of the people of the United States of America, and they also need to be stopped at some point. Your opportunity may be arriving soon, by the way, because once the left starts the civil war, and they've already proven they're lawless, they abide by no rules of law, they respect no due process, they will not follow any law they don't like, they will not recognize any election they don't like. Once they start the violence, guess what? We get to end it. That's right. We, the patriots of America, the Trump supporters of America, the veterans, the law enforcement officers, just the, the, the honest citizens, the concealed carry holders, the people who are trained in firearms, we, who will never initiate violence, we do not start fights. No, we end them. And we end them quickly. And your opportunity to end the violence of the left will be arriving. It may begin in the next year. It may begin shortly after the 2020 election, perhaps right before it. I'm not sure exactly when. But you will have an opportunity to help end the radical violence of the left and in doing so, stop them from their crimes, from committing their crimes against America. It's now clear that that day is coming. The left, having lost the election, having lost their impeachment effort, having lost the viewership of their fake media, and having desperately tried to censor everyone whose voice they did not like, and yet still failed to completely silence those people, the left will resort to the only thing they have remaining, which is for them to start setting fire to cities, start killing Christians, start executing white people in the streets, start killing Trump supporters, 
start opening fire, they will do this. This is what they will do. They will open fire on their political enemies on the streets and the sidewalks, and they will fire into crowds of Trump supporters at Trump rallies. They will shoot up and try to mass murder everyone they can. And when that begins, oh, I feel sorry for them because I happen to know as a matter of fact that every Antifa terrorist that has taken part in these Antifa uprisings is already well known by local police. I happen to know that there are law enforcement groups and former special forces groups and veterans groups in existence all across America that are ready to go take out Antifa when Antifa initiates the violence. Antifa won't last but a few days. And in fact, when the civil war actually is initiated, the leftists will desperately wish that they had not started it because they will not survive for very long because they are not, they are not prepared for what they have unleashed. I, I wrote an article recently, it's on naturalnews.com called, The Democrats are Summoning the Demon of Political Violence. It's a very important article. It was widely shared, by the way. You should check it out. And it explains that Democrats, by abandoning the rule of law and abandoning the very pillar of elections, is abandoning the things that are replacements for violence, civilized replacements. In other words, we don't want to see uh, the leader of the nation decided by who can kill the most political opponents. So instead, we, we created a system of voting. And voting only works when both parties agree to accept the outcomes of the votes, even if they don't win. And yet Democrats have now abandoned that social contract. They have abandoned the idea that they are supposed to abide by the outcome of the election. And they've abandoned the rule of law, and they've abandoned any pretense of allowing free speech or even respecting it. They censor people for their speech. And in doing these things, destroying elections, destroying due process, destroying the freedom of the press and freedom to speak and all these things, Democrats are, as I say, summoning the demon of political violence, meaning that they are begging for a new wave of brutality to, to then decide who runs the country. That's what they are begging for. And yet, it is not leftists in America who are masters of firearms or self-defense or law enforcement or uh, anything of the kind. They will be hopelessly outgunned. They will be very quickly defeated. And yes, if this situation unfolds, sadly, there will be blood in the streets. And it will mostly be the blood of the radical leftists. And they will then claim to be victims. They will claim that they were attacked by evil, gun-toting, Trump-supporting patriots who decided to defend themselves against violent, lunatic, left-wing mobs. But of course, the leftists will always say they are the victims. No. You know, the truth of the situation is these radical leftists, they are the instigators of treason, the instigators of violence, and they are unleashing this upon themselves. Because again, the gun owners, the patriots of America, they will not initiate violence. They will not open fire. Uh, they, they won't fire the first shot. It will be a leftist who fires the first shot. And then there will be a barrage of return fire from patriots and conservatives and firearms owners and Trump supporters who are defending the rule of law, defending their nation against traitors and defending democracy, by the way, against those who are trying to destroy it from within. The civil war is coming. I'm totally convinced now that it is inevitable because the left will not abide by any rules of civilized society. And thus, they are begging for brutality and they are demanding violence as the way to resolve questions of elections. So they may get exactly what they're asking for. They may get it, and they will regret it. Follow the law, folks. Defend the rule of law. Defend our republic. Never initiate violence against individuals, but always be willing to help stop violence, to protect the innocent, and to protect our nation against the enemies within who are trying to destroy it. My name's Mike Adams, the Health Ranger. You can read my websites at newstarget.com, and you can hear my podcasts at brighteon.com, or post your own podcast or videos there. Thank you for listening. 
God bless America. I know you have a lot of choices of where to get your superfoods and supplements, personal care products, and so on. To find all these solutions and more, just go to healthrangerstore.com slash MAGA, M-A-G-A. healthrangerstore.com slash M-A-G-A, as in Make America Great Again. You'll find hundreds of solutions there that can enhance and help protect your health. Again, that's healthrangerstore.com slash MAGA. At the Health Ranger Store, we are a pro-liberty, pro-life, pro-freedom, pro-America manufacturer and direct distributor. We sell direct to customers, offering extraordinary values on these products. Lab tested and verified, we test all of our products for bacteria, E. coli, salmonella, yeast and mold, heavy metals, lead, cadmium, arsenic, mercury, much more. Also glyphosate and herbicide and other pesticides and herbicides are being added to our testing procedure to make sure that we bring you safe, verified, clean supplements that you just don't get anywhere else. I mean, Amazon.com is a joke compared to us. The Wall Street Journal even did a story exposing the thousands of contaminated, illegal, banned, toxic supplements and products that Amazon sells. We wouldn't sell that because we have ethics, we have morality, we're honest, we have integrity as a manufacturer and a provider of these products. Check us out, healthrangerstore.com. Over 700 different products are available right now high-end supplements, superfoods, personal care products, even fragrance-free products that are eco-friendly for your home, such as laundry detergent, body soap, dishwasher detergent, and many other products. You'll find just an incredible assortment at healthrangerstore.com. And most importantly, your purchases there help support our ongoing efforts to spread the message of liberty and freedom and pro-life, respecting life in all its forms, and, and having a nation and a world that operates with ethics and morality so that we might have a sustainable human civilization, not one that's collapsing in destitution and suffering, which is what the, the radical left and the communists want to bring about. So support us and we support humanity. HealthRangerStore.com, I thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.